Christmas, Vicky. Pretty good, huh? Pretty good. Watch this. <laughs> Pretty good, huh? Big deal. Any robot can do that. <sighs> Vicky, come down from there before you fall on your plastic little robot. <laughs> Jamie, I thought I told you to finish your chores before you started to play. Now, how to clean up this yard? I can't clean the yard, Mom. The broom's not here. Hi. Is this your broom? <laughs> Someone just threw it over the fence. <laughs> I was showing Vicky how to throw a javelin. Well, if anybody knows how to throw it, it's you. <laughs> now, get to work. Can I help? No, but when I'm done, I'll give you the broom to fly home on. <laughs> my, my. You're certainly a grumpy bear, which I find very attractive in a man. <laughs> the grumpy bear hates doing chores. Who doesn't? Our parents do all the bossing around, and us kids do all the dirty work. We're nothing but cheap labor. When I complain, my mom sends me to my room without dinner. That's terrible. Not really. She's such an awful cook. Sending me to my room without dinner was my idea. <laughs> anyway, it'll be different when you and I are married, Jamie. We'll be the best mom and dad on earth. Harriet, if you and I ever get married, it'll be because we're the last mom and dad on earth. <laughs> I can wait. <laughs> Hi. Bad day, huh? How can you tell? A kiss on the cheek usually means a bad day at work or garlic toast at lunch. <laughs> well, our union's got a new contract coming up, and the guys at United Robotronics have chosen me to represent them at the bargaining table starting tomorrow. Well, congratulations. Uh, but that's good news. Yeah, the bad news is management is being represented by our slimy pea brain. No, Jerry! Neighbor. Brandon Brindle. What do you want, Brandon? <gasps> you had garlic toast for lunch. <laughs> Teddy boy, I just want you to know up front there's no hard feelings. Just because I'm going to crush you tomorrow at the bargaining table doesn't mean we can't be friends. Well, of course not, Brandon. There are much better reasons why we can't be friends. <laughs> oh, good, good, Teddy. Keep that sense of humor. You're going to need it. Oh. It would be so embarrassing to see you sitting there sniveling, begging. I've seen that pathetic side of you, but the others haven't. Bye. I just can't believe that management picked that ninny to represent them. Oh, honey, I'm sure you'll handle them just fine. And you know what? You've given me a great idea. I've been looking for an exercise to use in my class for American government. And what is more American than a labor union? Well, that solves your problem. But what about my problem with Brandon? I mean, how am I supposed to negotiate a raise with a man who is so cheap his guest bathroom has a pay toilet? So, the whole point of a labor union is for workers to have an organization that speaks for them as a whole. Well, then they can go to management and bargain to improve working conditions. So... Tomorrow, I'll be the management in our exercise, and you'll be the labor union, and we'll negotiate. Yes, Jamie? What are we going to negotiate? Oh, I thought the class could decide on some things that they feel would make their lives better here at school. And I mean serious things, all right? Oh, and you also need to pick someone to represent all of you at the bargaining table. All right. I'll see you all tomorrow. Attention, please. Fellow union members, if you really want to stick it to the management, I nominate a man to negotiate for you who's intelligent, fearless, and a great-looking jock. <laughs> I nominate me. <laughs> if anybody knows how to throw it, it's Jamie. <laughs> Hi. Oh, 
did your union pick its negotiating team? Yeah, they chose us. Tomorrow we'll really stick it to management. <laughs> <laughs> That's so. Well, how about you two negotiating yourself into the kitchen, setting the table for dinner, huh? Hey, make a note of that, Vicky. Management trying to bribe labor with kisses. <laughs> No kisses from management. Hi. Hi. Are you management? No, I'm labor. Then it's okay to kiss me. How did the negotiations go with Brandon? Terrible, frustrating, the worst. My, my, you're certainly a grumpy bear. <laughs> Which I find very attractive in a man. Well, it went pretty much as I expected. I presented our demands, and Brandon sat there breaking pencils with his teeth. So I tried to slip in a metal letter opener. And... Dad, do you mind telling me some of your bargaining points? I'm doing a little research for my class. Oh, well, we're asking for a 10% pay hike, a 3% increase in profit sharing, and a better health and dental plan. Well, what did Brandon say to all that? Well, in his own mature way, he said... <laughs> <laughs> what does... <laughs> mean? It means kiss off. <laughs> I'll make a note of it. <laughs> I'll get it. Oh, no, you don't. You've got your after-school chores to do. Get into the kitchen. Looks like management sticking it to us. Hi there. Hi, Jody. Well, you put on a pretty good show today, Teddy. I almost caught myself listening once. Brandon, I know you were listening because I heard my words echoing in that Grand Canyon between your ears. Funny, funny. Listen, Teddy, play ball with me in these negotiations, and one of these days you'll be management like I am. Brandon, are you hinting at a bribe? No, I'm coming right out and saying it. <laughs> Listen, just accept what I have to offer. We'll get everything over quickly. You'll be a hero, huh? Well, I think it'd go just as quickly if you accepted everything I had to offer, then you'd be a hero. Not a bright one, but a hero. <laughs> Gee, I never thought of it like that. Well, when you put it that way, uh, just let me say this. Uh, speaking for management... <laughs> Well, you have to admit he's eloquent. Labor says dinner's in the oven. <laughs> Thank you, Vicky. Well, Brandon, better shape up or we'll put up a fight that he'll never forget. We're going to stand firm and united, and if he tries to push us against the wall, we will strike. That's the spirit, honey. And if he thinks I'm kidding, he can go suck canal water. <clears throat> when I'm through with him, he's going to be eating crow. <laughs> you feel better now? No. What's for dinner, Vicky? Stuffed cabbage. But if you want, I can go stuff a crow. <laughs> Good. Make a note of that one. Will the class please be seated? Will the negotiating team come to the bargaining table? Has labor completed a list of its demands? Yes, ma'am. And remember, you're negotiating with that cute little bundle from heaven you used to burp. Vicky, read our demands. Labor's demands are as follows. We want a longer lunch period, a candy machine in the classroom for emergency energy purposes, a 48-hour warning before any surprise quizzes, and no term paper longer than five pages. Make that two pages. And last, we'd like to have a place to keep our pets while we're in school. Yes. 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 Now, class, settle down. I, I thought I instructed you that I wanted these to be serious demands for this exercise, not frivolous things. They are not frivolous. Shh. What's frivolous? <laughs> frivolous is an adjective meaning silly. Is management telling labor that pets aren't important to kids? Well, I really don't think that... Adults have daycare centers for their kids. Why can't we have them for our pets at school? Yeah! yeah. Class, that's enough. Management has no intention of giving in to these demands. Uh, what is Labor's reply? Labor's reply is... 
Are you sure that you're speaking for your entire union? Union? <laughs> well, it's obvious that Labor is not intending to negotiate seriously. The meeting is adjourned. You may return to your seats. If management thinks Labor won't put up a fight, the management can go suck canal water. <laughs> Management will never forget. Yeah! We're gonna stand firm and united, and if they try to push us to the wall, we'll strike. Strike! 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 How would Lee Iacocca handle this? Does your. Hi, I'm home. Oh, hi, honey. You're home awfully early. I could have stayed home all day for all the good I did at the negotiating table. Oh, is Brandon Brindle still being stubborn? Completely. He is so infuriating. When I asked for a 10% wage increase and a decent dental plan, he countered with a 10% cut and a reminder to floss between meals. Well, what are you going to do about it? I'll show you. You're on strike? Didn't have any choice. It was either walk out and strangle the company or stay in the room and strangle Brandon. You sure you made the right choice? Huh. <laughs> well, at least you're not the only one. There's a strike at my school today, too. The teachers went out on strike? Not the teachers. My students. The whole class walked out. You're kidding. Well, you wanted to teach them about labor unions. <laughs> Hi, Dad. What's the sign for? Oh, my company's on strike. I've got to go pick at the plant tomorrow. Strike two, Dad. Management can go stuff crow. <laughs> That's carrying things a little bit too far. I mean, I don't think kids should be striking at school. You listen to your father. But I'm with you in principle. But not when he's wrong. <clears throat> the right to strike is one of the building blocks of a free society. And it's a free society that's made me what I am today. Unemployed. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you feel that way, Dad. Because I wrote down some things that Vicky and I would like to negotiate with your mom. What do you mean? Well, we do the chores around here, so that makes us labor. You give the orders, so that makes you management. Vicky, read our demands. I don't believe this. Believe it. <laughs> labor demands an extra hour of TV every night, a modest $5 a week raise and allowance, and no more broccoli. <laughs> Short and sweet. Well, I'm afraid we can't let you stay up an extra hour. You wouldn't get enough rest for school. Yeah, and as for your allowance, you already get enough to cover your basic needs. Video games, comic books, and Slurpees. <laughs> well, what about the broccoli issue? Broccoli's nutritious. It's good for you. It's yucky. <laughs> I'm with her. Uh... Sorry, it's knowing all three demands. Okay. If management won't negotiate with labor, then labor has only one thing to say. What's that? <laughs> I think that's self-explanatory. We're on strike. All right, you've made your point. Come into the classroom. It's over. They say it ain't over till a fat lady sings. I mean it, kids. Come into the classroom. Is management ready to negotiate, Mrs. Lawson? I told you I'm not going to discuss your silly demands. But it's not fair. You said you wanted us to learn about unions and bargaining and all that stuff, didn't you? Well, yeah. And how do you expect us to learn if you won't let us do what you're trying to teach us? No talk. We walk. Strike! 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 Pull it! Pull it! Mrs. Lawson, I realize I'm only the principal of the school, but may I ask why your class is picketing in the hall? Or is that being too pushy? Well, Mr. Bryan, it's kind of hard to say. Um, Give it a shot. They're on strike. Strike? Can we talk? <laughs> Ms. Lawson, this better be good. 
Well, if you recall, Mr. Bryan, I cleared this class assignment with you on labor unions the other Yes, day. but I don't recall giving my approval for a strike. That was their own idea. Mr. Bryan, I, I know this is a little extreme, but I think they're about to learn an important lesson here. Oh. I, I would really appreciate it if you'd just let me play this out a little longer. Well, okay. Thank you, Mr. Bryant. Now, would you get them back into the classroom before the whole school joins them and we end up on 60 Minutes? <laughs> Boys and girls, will you please come into the classroom? Management is ready to negotiate your demands. Yeah! <laughs> come on in, Vicky, it's over. I ain't stopping until the fat lady sings. <laughs> Hi. How's it on the picket line? Honey, it was so hot out there, my feet feel like baked potatoes. <laughs> and how about something nice and cold to drink? Oh, great. And some sour cream and chives for my feet. <laughs> so how's your strike going? Oh, I'm thrilled to say that it was all settled. I had to do a little compromising, though. Uh, the kids wanted to have a daycare center for their pets. Oh, what'd you work out? I said no, but they could have a pet show once a month, and that I would donate the papers to cover the floors. Well, you're a great negotiator, honey. I should try that with Brandon. Nah, I'd never use the newspaper. Hi there. Oh, you look terrible. Rough day on the picket line. <laughs> Brandon, if you're not talking to me at work, I'm not talking to you at home. Now, Teddy, Teddy, Teddy. Don't Teddy, Teddy, Teddy me. <laughs> I'm not talking to you. Now, don't be a pig-headed fool. This strike is all your fault. Yeah, well, how about hitting the road, jerk? What are you calling a jerk, you toad? <laughs> okay, you're not a jerk. You're a jackass. Why, you worm? That's an insult. Yeah, to the jackass. <laughs> and who are you calling a worm? Hey, I'm your boss. I can call you anything I want. You're nothing. Oh, great job. Boss over nothing. <laughs> oh, come on. Will someone tell me what's going on here? <laughs> the jackass told the toad the strike was the toad's fault, so the pig headed fool told the jerk to hit the road. <laughs> Vicky, why don't you go outside and play with Jamie while I talk to the animals? <laughs> Brandon, why did you come over here? Because I'm a sensitive, caring man. <laughs> I felt terrible sitting up there in my office, all air-conditioned and cool, raking into big bucks. Teddy's out on a hot brick, starving to death. Well, I never knew you cared that much about Ted. I don't, but who wants to live next to starving people? It drives down the property values. <laughs> Let me remind you of something before you go, big heart. Whatever happens to me happens to you, too. Oh, yeah. If I starve, you starve, too. Fine! 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 Fine. <laughs> what do you mean, I starve, too? <laughs> Just what I said. If labor's out of work, then management has no one to manage. You'll starve to death with the rest of us peasants. <laughs> <laughs> nice bluff, Daddy. <laughs> Let's negotiate. <laughs> What's that noise? Strike, 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 Hey, 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 cool it, cool it. What are you kids doing picketing out here? Well, we didn't want to picket in the front and embarrass you with the neighbors. Harriet, what are you picketing for? Because I want to negotiate my chores and allowance like they're doing. Oh, forget it. I'm your father. I'm telling you right now, knock it off. Okay, and I'm your daughter. And I'm telling mother where you pinched a cleaning lady. <laughs> Daddy's little crumb cake. I tell you what, why don't we negotiate this over a big bowl of ice cream? I'll see you later, Teddy. We can finish our negotiations tomorrow. They're only about money. And ours are about life and death. His. <laughs> now what about our negotiations, Dad? Okay, let's go inside and work things out. All right. <laughs> uh, Joni, while we're hammering out our new contract, would you make us something to nibble on, please? Why am I always the one to get the refreshments? Because you're a mom. That's your job. <laughs> For which I'm overworked and not paid. And I'm tired of being taken for granted around here. 
The kitchen's on strike. What? <laughs> and as for you, you'll have to negotiate any other room in the house. <laughs> Got the picture? Tony, come on, let's be reasonable here. <clears throat> Wonder what Dad's gonna do now that Mom's mad at him. He can pinch the cleaning lady. 